Almost $2 trillion of counterfeit goods are sold each year. This includes foods and agricultural products, which can have adverse effects on our health and our planet. In fact, up to 10% of the food we buy at stores may not be exactly what we think it is. Fake honey, cannabis products, fertilizers, and even baby formula are just some of these examples. I spent almost a decade analyzing financial products tied to commodities on a macro level. And in 2016, I even started bulk importing a type of seed from Asia because my wife and I had launched a snack product. In doing so, I realized there's so much going on in our food and agricultural system that consumers just don't know about. At the same time, I was experimenting with DNA-based data storage. The big epiphany here is that we can program molecules to do the things we make electrons do every single day. Our solution uses molecules and even probiotic microbes to create unique fingerprints, which can be integrated with almost any type of product or package and validated rapidly and inexpensively. This is an entirely cutting edge method of product validation that brands must utilize. As consumers are demanding more transparency in their supply chain, we feel corporations will be forced to be at the cutting edge. Their brands will depend on it. Sequencing costs are dropping faster than Moore's law, and the world is going to start depending on synthetic biology to solve a number of problems. My vision is that everything we eat, every product we buy, can be verified and its origin known in an instant. Imagine running a tomato through a little device and it reading not just its genome, but the actual story of that tomato, the date of harvest, the distributor, its best buy date, all integrated on the molecular level and verified on the blockchain. That may be the world in 2030, but in the meantime, we have products ready for the market today. And I think that is the most compelling part of Carver.